Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this is the Raglan 5 inch lathe. I've been running this now for about 6 months and it's a cracking little lathe. It was built in approximately 1960. So you can still turn parts with a lathe that's 60 odd years old. Um, I know you can buy, nowadays you could buy uh, Myfords or a Colchester still going, I don't know. Or a walk or like on hill. They still they still make lathes. So you'd be looking at like five grand for the equivalent. Uh, this set me back four hundred and fifty quid I think. So yeah they, they are on these hand wheel verniers which are alright if you know what you're doing, but you can't beat a DRO on these old machines. Digital readout. Unfortunately for this, or to fit up a lathe, you're looking at 300 quid for uh, you know your two axes on the lathe. Or you can go this route, it's one of these, at about 30 quid. And it's basically, uh, um, what is it, the vernier. But you just bolt it to your whichever axes you want to digitalise. So... I want to bolt it there. I know it's going to be, it's not ideal, but you can't bolt it on this side because it gains weight tailstock, and I do a lot of drilling with this machine. And you need to be able to slide the tailstock right up into that gap there. So it can't go that side. So it's got to go this side. Unfortunately, it will be in the way of spinning objects in the chuck but uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there so I built some I fabricated some mounting brackets and I'll get them installed on the machine now guys All right, guys. That's the that's the budget DRO fitted to the lathe. Uh, I've just uh, the screens on a couple of magnets. I'll just um, attach it there for now. Obviously, the wire that's just going to get full of chips and weight down. <coughs> so I'm going to try and fabricate some sort of. Uh, repel thing or whatever you want to call it wire retractor using an old tape measure and have it down there but the lathe's only it, it might be just as well just to um, have some sort of thing and hang the, the cable from up here and uh, that might be on a spring or something like that that might be the better way because it's only a small lathe at the end of the day <coughs> so we'll get this running now guys and I'll just show you so basically I've got the ruler part of the um, vernier mounted to the crossfeed like so. So that's under there. And then the 
reed unit is um, that's bolted to where the taper turning attachment would bolt so onto the back of the apron and then I've just uh, welded a plate there it's way better on, old la on an old lathe to have a DRO because it's just it beats dealing with these um, hand wheel verniers which you know aren't forced to be 100% bang on I'll step in the right direction with this so I've got it all rigged up now put the tool holder back in tool post back in and we'll cut some steel and see how well that works okay guys this has been this has been a learning curve so I always thought the hand wheel verniers were Imperial, but if you look on the gauge, that says it's set to millimeters. So if we zero that and zero that, and then advance that 50 or half a mil, we've got half a mil. So what I've done wrong here is 50 on the vernier on the lathe, I thought it was 50 thou of an inch but it's actually 50 one hundredths of a millimeter as we can see on the DRO so that's one mil 1.5 two mils 2.5 and then back to zero at three mil I think that's how it goes there's a bit of drift on there but 3.17 now the way I learnt in imperial measurements was half an inch is 500 thou so if I zero this, if I clock this forwards, four full revolutions, that's four threes, that gives us 12 mil, which is half an inch. And I should get, when I switch the DRO over onto Imperial, I should get 500 thou. So we'll do this four times now. with a bit of drift due to uh, mechanical error <clears throat> so we're at 12 12 mil 12 and a half mil over 12 and a half mil and if I switch that over to Imperial we've got 500 thou there so we'll uh, take a cut now and see how that turns out There we go. So we're at 21 mil. So if I zero that and then take zero that, I'm going to take a mil off now. go quite happy with the little DRO guys so yeah thanks for watching guys and I'll uh, I'll see you in the next one